Hello, and welcome to another video in the series focused on property sets for stream reporting in ChemCAD 7. This time, I'll be discussing customization of property sets. The real benefit of the property set feature is in the ability to have custom property sets that serve as a template to show the information in your preferred way. This is all controlled from the Customized Property Sets dialog and you can reach this dialog from anywhere you might generate a report. So for instance, if I go and right click this stream and go to stream reports, I can see the customized property sets option here. Or if I go to report, stream reports, I can also go to customize property sets from here. So once I open this window, this is a central location where you can manage all of the property sets available in your simulation. On the left side of the screen are all of the property sets that are available in this simulation. And it shows the active property set for stream reports, which is indicated here. Now I can change which is active by using the set as active button. And I can also add a new blank property set or if I'd like to copy an existing set I can use the copy button and finally if I'd like to reset any of the default three property sets quick view stream composition or stream property to their original settings I can use the reset button so let's say that I want to have a report with temperature pressure actual density and components in mass percent also I want the components to display first and the other items to display last. I can set all of this up using the customized property sets window. First, I'll select the property set that I'd like to change and I'll just give this one a new name, call it example. And then using the right pane by expanding categories and using the checkboxes I can select all the properties I'd like to see when I use this report template. This list contains all of the possible properties that could be reported for a stream. So temperature, pressure, and actual density are all under the overall category. I'll select those three now. You'll also notice an up and down button here. I can use those to rearrange the properties within each category so that they display in whichever order I'd prefer. So for instance, if I'd like to see pressure first, I can move that up the list. And you can also do that with general categories as well. So before we go in and select which composition we'd like to see, I'll go ahead and move that all the way to the top. Now we'll expand compositions and choose mass percent. ChemCAD 6 users will remember that there was a set flow units option under the report menu. This has now been absorbed by the property sets and exists as the compositions category since within compositions you're changing what flow units your compositions will be reported in. I'll collapse this category and you can notice that there are two blue boxes here. These show you that these are the categories that will be displayed in your report since they have properties from each of them selected. You can also click to check an entire category which will then display all of the available properties for that category. Just be aware that you may end up giving yourself a lot of extra clutter if you select uh, some of the longer list items. So once I've made the changes that I'd like to see in my next report, I can click OK to save. And then if I right click Stream 8 and go to Stream Reports, I can see that example and the stream composition copy that I created are now available here to generate a quick report. So I'll select example 
and here we have my mass percents available first in the list pressure, temperature, and actual density just as we set up. So that's it for a quick overview of customizing property sets. Check out some of our other videos to learn more about the features in ChemCAD 7. Thank you.